once upon a time, I didn't see you there. But you were there. And if, if I didn't see you there, you were still there. Well, that was once upon a time. Now I see you. There. Well, my name is Vernon John Ledger from Right to Play and the Ground Level Youth Center. And today we have Roll a Story. Roll a Story. Instructions for the gamer here. This will be in your kit. It's back of the game. That's how you do it. So first you want to get a die. A six-sided die. Next thing you want to do is roll it. Get yourself a piece of paper. Pencil. And if you want, you can even use crayons. Get a notepad. So let's roll this. This is how we're going to do it. First, we're going to find the number we rolled on a story card. See, when the first main character will be a bear, which is number six. There's a bear. See, main character first, bear. Then next, we're going to roll again, and we have a one, which is the mountains. Two, we have for the big event, which is next on the list. We have a six, which is a microphone. And for the last, for the ending, we have six again, which is this guy. Right here. So you get to make the meaning out of this, and I'll make the meaning out of this one. So here's a good example. Once upon a time, a bear in the mountains was singing such beautiful songs that it made everybody cry, which was healing. This mysterious bear only comes out when it's needed. This mysterious bear is also living in the mountains. Which mountains? No one knows. But it exists. So a story, the story could really be that simple. We're going to do one here now off the top of our heads for fun. So let's roll this dice, see what we get for our main character. Number three. This is a fish. So I'll write down fish. Now for the setting, we have the woods. And for the big event, we have a potion making contest. what I did with them. this little symbol right here. See, they don't say exactly what they mean. You can make them into whatever you want. It's your story. So let's see how the ending. I'll keep this as a surprise, but I'll write it down anyways. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a fish and the fish lived in the woods, and it could come out of the water and walk. Just fine and dandy, because it also had lungs. It didn't just have gills. And this fish found a contest that was happening where people were making magic potions. And the fish didn't really need magic potions, but it wanted to participate anyways. And the fish made a love potion. And when the fish drank the potion that it made in this contest, it fell in love with the water and went back into the water. There we go. That's another little story there. Anyway, so that's it. That's pretty simple. That's all you got to do. The question for this video is, what is your favorite story to read or listen to and why? Thank you very much. This has been Vernon John Ledger from the Ground Level Youth Center and Right to Play. Have yourself a fantastic day. Bye for now.